welcome back to my channel yes welcome back thank you very much for clicking this video thank you very much for taking time out to watch me do what i do <laughs> you know what i'm gonna say right weather report it's stinking hot we've actually prepped our skin we've done our moisturizers serums all that jazz and even sunscreen okay for those who are new here welcome to the channel so happy that you could be here <laughs> um i'm just obviously getting ready to go out hence the hair is curled to some extent obviously i just need to comb it out just a little bit just to judge it i don't want to do too much um because it's hot and it's probably not going to stay for that long but anyway we on camera because we want to beat the face okay i realized that some of my videos are more so get ready with memes but there's slash tutorials as well so if you are interested in following this makeup look if you're looking for any tips on certain products and stuff like that or the products i use basically this is a place for you okay so for those in you do not forget to subscribe i mean it's free it's helping it's helping us it's helping you and do not forget to hit the bell as well because you need to be notified every time i drop a new video yes i'm in a bit of consistent so you need to look out for that video okay because it's always going to be something and also thumbs up this video just give me a thumbs up thumbs up and subscribe if you want you can comment down below if you want to but those two are very important so i'm going to be using the elf power grip primer as i normally do it is the weekend and what is a weekend without me rushing eh in this look yeah because the last look i did i did uh, a latte inspired eye look not necessarily the actual whole full face inspired but today because what i'm wearing is kind of like a leopardy situation i think i'm gonna go a bit bronzy you know do a bit of a do a bit of a bronzy face not that i could do any other shade <laughs> but a more bronzy face and maybe this and not maybe but this time i might try the espresso version and the joke is yeah to tell the truth this is eye looks that like i've been doing all these soft glam looks i've been showing you guys it's all been latte or espresso i mean i did one that could be latte inspired which was using the juvia's place um the coffee shop palette which i reviewed i'll link up in the cards up above do go ahead and watch that okay so that's what we're going to do today so just to let you know and just trying to keep on trend but by the time this video goes out it's probably going to be a new trend anyway and it probably is just things we've been doing that have been renamed and we're just trying to you know i'm going to go into one size secure the door and as i mentioned in my other video i am a small T zone <laughs> when it comes to like the blurration and where I want to mattify because I get really I don't know who this guy is with this dumb ass bike that he keeps riding every bloody day sometimes on meetings at work like for work and this is all you can hear it's so annoying just in case I go quiet it's because that douche is revving his engine for no reason it's been doing it since morning and it's starting to get my nose that i feel like i want to make a complaint <laughs> to the council because <sighs> you've seen this already not long ago we are going into the one size turn up the base which is a beauty blur balm that much and that much i'm gonna try probably shouldn't zambi molly i'm gonna try mixing this with molly from nars natural long radiant this is what i should have mixed in with my anyway go check that video i did a review not a review a makeup look um yeah just go check it out <laughs> uh -huh, this is better can you see it like matches the center of my face a bit and i'm just gonna cover up that scar where i burned myself but the coverage is there look at that and i can afford to bring this down because i'm wearing a off shoulder top i just put a bit more i just want to cover because i've got a few dark parts here just make sure it's there's coverage there okay that looks good already so i'm gonna use my um doll beauty brush and then we're just gonna do what we did last time we're just gonna push the product in and blend 
just to make sure that we're in a good position with the foundation before we put our concealer. I'm gonna have to use Anastasia. So I'm gonna use Anastasia bronzer. I know Juvia's Place just came out with some. Yeah, this one doesn't really. Okay, it's showing up on camera. But it's not giving. What? Ebony? Is it Ebony? Yeah, Ebony from Fenty. The matchstick from Fenty would do. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this in a minute. You guys could see it, right? A little bit I might go into um, caviar because this is not like as richly deep as I want it to be and caviar is somewhat too cool sometimes used by itself it just depends on the base because I know I've used it before on its own so I'm going to bring some definition to the face oh and this shade is a uh, cool brown by the way I'm just gonna grab some caviar from Fenty I'm actually gonna go into the brush directly rather than going directly on the face but you see how the depth that is given here especially compared to this side so how deep it comes off just go into this side of the nose as in this just this portion here can you see what it's just did and do the same i just don't want to use this particular shade for this i'm just pressing i'm not rubbing because i want it to go too far down and spread there is that. Also, you see how dark that is. I don't like that. But we're gonna conceal, so it's fine. Yes. One size. I know this past couple of videos. I can't put it down, and I'm gonna try and use <laughs> as little as possible because I know my past videos. I have gone ham with this. Yeah, I'm gonna use Chai from Too Faced and just use that to do my little structure stuff. just realized really and truly I should, I should only just be doing the Too Faced and not the one size concealer because the one size concealer dries down really fast <laughs> okay when I blend it out I use like look at that what 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 is that I'll use my foundation brush to this is not going too well is it just grab a towel so that I can blend and rub off any excess that will calm down now I'm gonna go into chem beauty and she's light but not super light but she's a bit more neutral I think I'm gonna need a fan for this part Should actually conceal my lids now so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use mocha and I'm gonna use some kiwis this is in Ruma 02 I have used it in a previous video um, this combination as in I now as in like she is that girl then Oh, and the shade I did use was uh, Drag Deep. So I'm going into Translucent from one size. All I need now is like a contour palette, and I think I'm good. I'm just filling the lid. As so in, it will be quicker for me to blend up my eyeshadow this way. I'm going to go into my bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury, who is this girl for me right now when it comes to kind of like contouring slash bronze in the nose and it's deep full so just gonna bring that down just ever so slightly into the brow and into just this area here and the lid's gonna cover this really nicely 
gonna go into the bronzer again and this is gonna go on the face you see it's very warm normally i would have gone into my actually i'm still gonna go into it to be honest so i just want a bit more depth but this is nice and nice and very warm then i'm gonna go into 495 and just place that there And just a little bit of 470 because 470 just gives a bit more like warmth. I'm just going to go into my puffs. Even though I want to go into a powder, but I'm just going to my puffs just to kind of manage this area here where it's kind of like overstepped its bank. It's eyes. I don't need to use a coffee shop palette again. But it looks like I'm going to have to. I can't help it. It's just such a versatile palette. Like. But anyway, we're going to go into this light colour here, and this is going to go in our crease. I think I'm just going to use this whole palette for today's look. I'm just going to bring a bit of warmth up into this area here. I don't have a particular like order. It's just to see what blends well with each other and how you, if you want a gradient or, you know, it depends on like the angle you're going. I'm going to go into this shade. Yeah, I want that a bit more, makes it a bit more warm. I'll just blow it out. And this one, I'm not going to put a shimmer because it's just expressive. There's no shimmer. The last time I used a shimmer. Oh, it's so nice. I think I already linked it up above, so go check it out. But you see the nice browns that this palette is giving. Not that you can't get it with any other palettes, but this palette does something for me. I'm going to go into this darker one. Let's use a smaller brush. I want to use a more tightly packed brush to go into the shade here. And we're going to start it right here. And then we're going to bring it across the lid. Again, I've done a look with this palette close to this whole espresso latte kind of look. The effort is minimal. And then we're just going to raise it up. And now we're just going all over the lid with this. Just making sure we blend up so that it blends well with the browns that we've caught already. So you can't see where one begins and one ends. Probably you can see it with me because I'm rushing. As you can see, I am doing the most like speedy wash of this colour. It's not like anyone can do it. Like it's very beginner friendly. I'm just going into this shade here. Maybe just mix these two. And we're just going to come from the inner corner, just come a bit lower and just kind of wash over with what's left in the brush. Did I just pick myself an eye? Please don't get teary. And I'm just going to wing whatever's left on the brush and the lid. I'm just going to wing it this way. I mean, you can't really see it, but it's, it's dispersing and allowing it to flow that's why i concentrated it here first Ooh. and then i'm just going to disperse disperse i'm going to buff it out just a little bit just going to go into this color here and this color here just for a bit of highlight here as you can see it yeah. beautiful go back to that first brush and just use that to go over both ends brow bone and base now you just want to tidy up and do any kind of like blending and tweaking that you want to do and that's it so i use this infallible liner i've been using this like religiously past couple looks i've done so just tight line the lid and then tight line the bottom i'm going to add a brown just these two browns i'm going to add this to my lower lash line and get that buffed in going into this brown here i'm going to use that to blend closer to our lash line and in the same time smudge 
that liner and I'd like to flick it at the end there so it kind of gives like a, a little hint of a wing I like to leave I don't know if you can see it just a little hint of non covered you see it it's intentional not that I didn't cover it but yeah the face is looking okay we're gonna go to H&B Cosmetics because we're going for a bronzy look I'm gonna go in with dark I'm not gonna use a pink today I'll do the pink tomorrow so I've grabbed some product it does it does have the other product just in it I'm just going to Eye. and a puff is I think is the best way to apply this powder using a brush I don't think you get the effects that you want not effects but you won't get the full coverage I think it will just be sheer I mean obviously each to their own that's no problem whatsoever but if you want what's going on right now you need to use the puff okay and I have a much lighter one that we're going to use shortly just going to put light medium in the center and just slightly under the eyes and then sheer it out i'm not going in anymore so just using what's left over i'm just using to make sure it's blended okay, i'm going to go into my mac as in sorry it is what it is i just can't get enough of this color and i was going to use the Judas face one but I can't find it, but it's just going to give us a nice warm orange hue. Oh, a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> now for the lips. I'm going to use Morphe Richie. I'm just going into the lip liner from Panograph in Ground Control. Just to kind of soften it, because Richie is a bit deep, if you guys can see. Let's try this. This is Boss Chick from Huda Beauty. No. I wanted a lighter. I'm going to go into Lady from Judas Place. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what I wanted. I'm just going to use that liner again to kind of blend. So I'm going to use NYX Butter Glosses. I'm going to go into Caramel first. And this is going to go giving me what I want it's giving me like it's fine it's okay yes yeah, so I'm gonna use it even try out first I can actually use my Fenty gloss bomb in hot chocolate and just kind of like see if we'll deepen it up a bit Okay. That caramel colour is nice though, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna use fortune cookie from fortune cookie? Yeah. Fortune cookie from no, mix and go in the centre. Lashes and clothes and I'll be back. So guys I am back. I'm not really bothered with the hair to be honest. I'm just keep it as it is. I can't. So this top is River Island by Proxy ASOS because that's what I got it from. I'm just going to spray my face now. I'm going to use my Morphe when I can actually fit the cap on. Oh gosh. Let that sit on the face. And then I'm going to go into some bottom lash mascara. You see where I fudged my eye, yeah? It's gone red. I was like, wait a minute. When I was putting on my lashes, I was like, how? I just want to admit that I want to make a better brush. And it's kind of bruised on the side now. Very annoying. Okay. Ooh. Sultry. It's really dark now because I've actually kind of like turned, well, closed the curtains of it so you guys can see, honey. Okay. Just using a bit of artificial light. Okay. Um, my battery's about to die. So <laughs> this looks like so all over the place because it is. Oh, yeah one size you see i'm like all over the place right and the way that goes on the skin oh i'm gonna take glasses anyway just in case so let me just 
do the nose area so that it doesn't pick my foundation on any product sorry for the noise by the way this is outside people doing their nonsense so guys this is the final look as you guys would have seen throughout the whole drama that i had to go through with poking myself in the eye and whatnot and obviously background noise but yes what do you think of this bronzy expressive look anyway um i'm gonna go okay um because i am running late as per usual so thank you very much for staying to the end of the video my lovelies welcome back and for those that are new here do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in my next video okay so i'm gonna love you and leave you oh, i'll put this hair back because that was just for the outro and i'm about to go okay I should put a necklace on, but I don't really want to. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Alright, I'll see you in my next video. Tina! <laughs> Help me out.